Greetings and salutations, I'm Toasties, and welcome back to my channel. Now, in today's video, I am like the, the what, the thumbnail and the title says I'm going to be designing slash drawing, I guess, a, or my spirit blossom OC. Um, I saw this thing going around trending in the art community on Instagram um, under the hashtag um, spirit blossom persona and uh, I decided instead of a sona like just drawing myself in this kind of spirit blossom like skin um, I just decided to make an OC out of it and th that's exactly what I did so if you don't know already this um I guess small craze of this like I don't know, skin line. I don't really know it. It's from the game League of Legends. And I don't play League of Legends, so I'm going- I have no idea what the heck I'm talking about. So, I'm just gonna call it a skin line, skin series. I'm sorry to those who are cringing at how wrong I am. But yes. Um, so, as you can see, I, uh, what's it called? Like, I'm really out of it. It's like 11.30 p.m. right now, so please excuse my uh, non-functioning brain right now. It's just... I'm tired. <laughs> but, as you could tell, I started with a traditional sketch just to get my basic idea down. Um, and I was really satisfied with it. I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And it was like, oh, she can have this and all that kind of stuff. And during the sketch, um, for the clothes, for the clothes specifically, I decided to change a small part of it, and you can tell later on what I changed about it in the sketch and to digital. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what the heck to talk about in this really long video, but I guess I'm just gonna talk about what the heck I'm drawing and why I did so. So, um... Yeah, that's it. Remember early in the video when I said that I changed a few stuff up? Well, here it is. As you can obviously tell, I changed the skirt. Um, I wanted it to look- I took inspiration from that, like, I don't know if any of you guys have seen it, but maybe some people on, like, social media, those, like, really cute, like, cosplay kimono type, uh, dresses. Um, It'll just pop up there, but I took inspiration from that specifically the skirt and like the little floof at the bottom the ruffles um, I Did not add like long sleeves. I kind of wanted it to be short. I didn't I don't really know how that would Play out in real life how let's say if someone were to cosplay this. I don't know how that would uh, I don't, Yeah Exactly just gonna leave it there but that's that that was it and the next one i'll just point it out once in the video like when i actually change it all right here this is where i change it i changed like the thigh high socks to where it's like a diagonal or yeah, diagonal um, instead of straight because I always do that. So why not change it up just just a little bit? It's not like a big difference, but it, I guess it adds a little bit of spice in there. So yeah.
cold sweat, I was in a nightmare, searching in the dark, but I couldn't find you. There were footsteps coming down the hallway, but when I turned around, it wasn't you. I was looking at myself, I couldn't see. Since I was, since I am like designing, I guess, my own character for this type of skin, um, I wanted. I didn't want to use my usual line art pencil, which was like the pencil setting in Medibang. Um, I used the pen one. I guess it. I use that if I want to use it in a more, uh, not really professional setting, but if I want it to look a little bit more quote unquote official, I guess. I don't really know how to describe my thinking or how to, I don't exactly. <laughs> But um, it would, when I use the regular pen, it's easier to fill in the, um, I guess, the body that way with the bucket tool because when you use pencil, the opacity is not 100%. So if you can tell from like, I guess, my other videos or any of my Instagram posts, sometimes under it is like just still white or something and it's like kind of weird and you'd have to use the layer under it to fill it in. So then it's actually colored in, which is, so that's why I used it, used a p regular pen tool here, just so I didn't run into any of those complications. And in the end, it looked, it turned out good. So that's it. I keep saying that's it and yeah, at the end, but what else am I supposed to say? Um, I guess just catch me when I say something else again.
Hello, and I'm back again. So, um, I guess I've been doing full bodies lately, and in my Instagram you can see that I've just had three full body drawings in a row, but that's like the most I've ever done. <laughs> and I, I guess I have improved a lot in my um, full bodies, I guess, for, I don't know, the way I, the technique I use, I guess. And my hands have improved just like a little bit more than before. Um, I'm feeling a little bit more confident in my full body drawings now. I do, I still have stuff to work on, like, um, my line art, like, line art, and I'm still trying to, trying to find a way, like, do I want to color the line art, do I want to leave it all black, do I want to color all of it, leave it thin, thick, you know? Um, and feet, oh my gosh, feet and shoes, that's something I really need to work on, because that is just the enemy here, that is the antagonist in my story and it's just difficult and i do need to try and challenge myself and uh, that's I'm, I'm trying to do that um it's just so whoo if you get what i mean <laughs> that's it um moving on col figuring out the color palette for this character was kind of hard because um i was like do i want Especially with the clothes. The clothes were so hard. Like, do I want the ribbon to be purple, pink? Do I want the whole thing to be pink or white? Um, I did a little bit of, like, I guess research in the color palettes the characters in the game have. And what I saw was that a lot of it was purple. Um, for uh, the character Ari, she had, like, you know, really bright pink, hot pink hair. And then her, like, clothes was, like, white with some, like, bright teal and gold, like... Uh, accents and uh, from all what is yeah you can see here that I took a lot of inspiration for that so I kind of knew the whole I guess aesthetic for this um skin would be um like <laughs> uh dang what the heck what the heck do I say like I have no filter in any of these videos I'm going straight out of my mind and most of the time I don't know what the heck I'm talking about but that's because I don't like scripting it because if I script it and just read it out loud I'm just gonna sound like a robot I guess and I'm just gonna mess up even more <laughs> anyway going back into the coloring um I played around with the patterns Medibang offered and I settled with this one it looks familiar and if you watch the anime Demon Slayer, this is on. This is the pattern they used on Nezuko's kimono. Um, I, or, well, please correct me. The proper term for what they are wearing, if I did it wrong. So I'm just gonna say clothes. Just gonna say clothes. The pattern that are that are on her clothes. Yes. <laughs> But I was like, oh, this is really nice. There was another one where it's like the C pattern. I ended up using this one because I was like, um, looks really nice. So let's just use this. And I guess this is the settled, the, what's it called? Art, not art. Art. What, Rachel, what are you saying? <laughs> the color palette for this drawing. And I and it, I really like how it turned out because the I guess the teal turned out really bright and I liked how um I guess how much it screamed in the drawing I guess you could say it just really popped and I thought it was a really nice color and the way I ended up shading it and like all that just ended up really tying the drawing together. Sure. 
I know when it comes to character design, there's like, I still have a lot to learn when it comes to that. And hopefully in the future, I can, I guess, learn about it more so then I can improve in my character design. Because I feel like what I do now, it's not like the best. Yes, it's good, but it's not like, I guess, up to standards in certain companies or games, I guess. Um, so I do want to improve and all that stuff and it's just, um, it's a work in progress. I'm getting there. I do see improvement from before and yeah. I've heard you sing I looked up to you, brother Even when you lost your way In the madness of New York City Oh, you found her And now I know there's hope for me story of how you met each other Manhattan for coffee first stop past the place five years later you walk into the altar and now she's gonna share our family's name I looked up to you brother even when Found her, and now I know there's hope for me. I know there's hope for me. I know there's hope for me in the madness, wherever I may be. Love is something you two make me believe. in Brooklyn the first day I met her I could see it in your face she was all that you need I knew from the moment she was begging you to just sing she'd be my sister and she would be your everything I looked up to you brother even when Found her, and now I know there's hope for me. Yeah, you found her, and now I know there's hope for me. Cause love is something you two make me believe. Day one, day one, trying to 
spend the rest of my life with the same one, same one. Ain't no INT. I'ma bring you good love, just come with me. Maybe you're all the company I need. Tryna spend the rest of my life. I know this is like a really weird placement to tell you guys what I'm using in today's video, but I'm going to keep it here because why not? So the stuff I'm using today is, um, the program is Medibank Paint, like I've said in like one part of the video. And the, I'm using an art, I'm using a drawing tablet, the Wacom Cintiq Pro, uh, 13 inch. Um, I got that two years ago. And, you know, my parents were, like, really skeptical, were really skeptical of, like, getting that for me. They were, like, they weren't sure if they wanted to get that for me or not for my birthday because they were scared that I would stop doing traditional art and would just, like, completely go over um, to digital and just do that only. But in the end, I mean, it was worth it. I got to do a lot of cool stuff in the digital art world and um, a lot of more opportunities be uh, I got to, I guess, go through <laughs> because of digital art. And of course, like, we all, like, I'm not gonna stop doing traditional art. I enjoy doing that. That's where I started anyway. Stay to your roots, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, that's basically all I'm using. If you're wondering what I'm using to, like, screen record, I'm just using QuickTime Player that's like already in the computer i use which is a really like a 10 year old mac <laughs> computer um that's it <laughs> Baby girl be mine Yeah Hey Look Pick up your phone I need your attention My girl so bad We call her detention I am so glad We moved beyond friendship I am so glad Your mama like me Sweat up with Cupid Told her fight me I stole your love He shot my heart I'm losing breath It's getting dark I think I might need CPR Tell me do you love me Like I do Tell me what you willing to prove Cause I ain't got nothing to lose to me travel around the globe but i know that you the only girl for me and i gotta let you know she likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine she likes notes that say i love you all the time roses at your feet baby girl be mine baby girl be mine Look, you know you the baddest in the game show you how to blow like no way Trying to get some time with you. Would you spend a night with me? Maybe spend your life with me. Check me if I'm trifling. Let me be your bestie. Body and car when we flexing. Maybe we can stand the test of time. And you ain't even got a second guess that you mean the world to me. I travel around the globe, but I know that you're the only girl for me. And I gotta let you know. She likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine. She likes no that say I love. Jeez, I should talk about what I wanted for this character. So, basically what I had in mind for this character is that she's like, obviously she's like cute, sweet, like, like physical appearance. Um, 
but she's I kind of wanted her to be like a some kind of like healer kind of way but like still have good like fighting power I guess you could say I don't really know how to properly say this but basically I want I had her hair be like the main fighting part so those two strands are just like they leave down behind her they go like down from her bun and like they just spread out to the side and they like move by themselves of course she's the one that controls them but they just move so she basically moves her hair in command but specifically those two strands so she kind of like leaves her hair up like that all the time but if it's down those two those two strands specifically are just up levitating in the air and they are able to like shoot out not really shoot out but they have these like two little uh blue flame kind of things i want to call them like spirit orbs or something like that <laughs> i don't know and they're kind of just um there to attack the enemy and um at the same time used to um heal heal uh, um their your teammate in a way so it's kind of like first she has to attack and if she um damages a player or kills them she gains she like basically takes their life force i guess and then uses that to heal her other opponents if she doesn't kill or like I guess damage a player then she won't be able to um, heal any of her teammates basically what I was going for that <laughs> um, I guess I should have had like some kind of um, second color palette kind of way so, like second uh, I don't really know what, like I guess a variety of skin options in a way but I didn't so this is all we get but and honestly i'm like really proud of how this drawing turned out so all right and we are basically done with the drawing so here is the full body um i'm really i really like how this turn this drawing turned out i'm really proud of it um there's still a lot of stuff i need to improve on but i think for the most part i'm really proud of this entire thing um uh, i wish like i could post it on instagram and not have the quality deteriorate but like you can't have everything um this is a zoomed in ver zoomed in more zoomed in so you guys can see more and it has her line art in the background thought that looked cool but yeah, that's all I have for today's video. If you enjoyed today, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment down what else you'd like to see on my channel, and subscribe. Click the notification bell to never miss any of my future videos. And that's all I have for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Start your computations.